So Shiloh and I just got this bird. Uh, this is the second geolocated semi-palmated sandpiper that we have captured back here on Coates Island. And we were very excited to get this guy. We've been seeing him since the since the hour after we arrived. We've been seeing this little guy, and he's avoided us. But we, we got him in a mist net. We've removed the geolocator that's been on him for a year. Uh, that little tiny device that was on his leg will uh, tell us where he has been for the year. And uh, we're really excited to know. Uh, we are hoping that uh, we'll also see his uh, flight path all the way down to wherever he, he uh, wintered, either uh, most likely on the north coast of South America or Panama Bay, we're not sure which. And maybe there's a new place these eastern uh, semi-palmated sandpipers are going. Uh, we're hoping that the population has not truly crashed and that there is a, a location that we are not aware of uh, for their wintering habitat. But look how tiny this bird is. His, his head is literally smaller than my thumb and that in that little brain is the map of the Western Hemisphere. This little guy, uh, and with his little wings, has flown all the way up here to the middle of t top part of Hudson Bay, uh, and uh, it's just a phenomenal thing to think about. the The size of the landscape out here, the immensity of the land we've been walking across, where the caribou are roaming, where there are polar bears on the coast. Uh, this little dude has come all the way across uh, across uh, the hemisphere to get here to breed. We're right on his territory, and he is uh, he's waiting for his mate to show up. So we're going to let him go now, and uh, good luck to you, buddy. I hope she comes, and we'll be seeing you uh, every day in the next couple weeks while we're here. All right, you've had enough of us, and you're gonna you're, you're gonna be a lot lighter now with that, that geolocator on you.